Hello kids! For this week, we will be learning about word processors, specifically Microsoft Word. And these are our objectives. First, we will describe what a word processor is and its uses. And, identify basic parts of Microsoft Word window. So what is a word processor? A word processor is a software program that allows you to create a document, edit it, store it electronically, and print your document. Microsoft Word is the most commonly used word processor, but there are other alternatives like Google Docs, iWork Pages, OpenOffice Writer, and Lotus Symphony Documents. So just as you use your Microsoft Paint for drawing, we use Microsoft Word for writing. What are the advantages of word processors? With a word processor, you can work much faster. It is easy to correct errors and make changes in your document. Spelling and grammar can be checked in this software. Pictures can also be inserted with your document. And it can be saved and still be worked on in the future. Your documents can also be printed easily, just like how they appear on your screen. Let me show you some examples of where we can use Microsoft Word. You can use Microsoft Word to create invitation cards or make announcements. You can also write letters to your friend using Microsoft Word or write short stories with pictures and make worksheets. Now, try to identify which among these activities needs Microsoft Word to be created. Did you get the same? Great job! Follow the steps below to open Microsoft Word. First, click Start button. Next, click All Apps, click Microsoft Office, and click Word. So, this is how your Microsoft Word window looks like. This window allows us to interact with Microsoft Word. Let's study the different parts. The topmost part is called your title bar. Your title bar will show the name that you assign to your document. Just below your title bar is the ribbon, which has all the commands that you will be needing to edit your document. Inside the ribbon are several tabs, like the Home tab, which contains the most commonly used commands. Insert tab for commands used to insert pictures. Page layout to change the layout of your document. Let's go back to the Home tab. Each tab contains different groups, like the Font group, Paragraph group, and styles group. If we take a look at each group, it has related commands in it, which means that all the commands that we see in the font group has something to do with changing the look of our letters. While for the paragraph group, it has all the commands that we can use for the alignment of our document. At the top leftmost portion of your window, is the Quick Access Toolbar. This provides you with access to commands you frequently use, like Save, Undo, and Redo. You can use Save to save your file, Undo to roll back an action you have taken, and Redo to reapply the action. The white area is called your text area. You type your document in the text area. The blinking bar that you see on your text area is called the cursor. It marks the insertion point. As you type, 
your text displays at the cursor point. Example, Now, if you want to insert a word before the name Rachel, for example, you don't need to erase everything. You just have to click the part where you want to insert a letter or a word, then start typing. These are your vertical and horizontal scroll bars, which allows you to move up, down, or across your document. You use this by clicking and dragging the scroll bars. On the lower right corner of your window is the zoom tool. You use that to zoom in and zoom out of your document. You won't see your horizontal scroll bar if your document or text area fits on the screen.